It is considered one of the best ways to get and stay fit. Hit workouts, hit, is that right? Are guaranteed to make you sweat. If you're looking for a fun way to sweat with friends, Hit the Six is taking place in Toronto next Saturday and here to walk us through what we need to know about the style of workout that we're talking about is Greg Hetherington from Toronto's Fuel Training Club. Thank you very much. And we've got Corinne and Kale as well helping out here. I'm just watching, doing a great job. <laughs> what is Hit? It's H-I-I-T, right? That's right, high intensity interval training. So it's becoming more popular these days. Uh, a lot of different studios, clubs are doing it. It's essentially doing, most people are doing cardio for 30 minutes at a sustainable pace. HIT is at a more high intense pace, so you have to go really hard. And you can see Corinne, if she was doing this, she wouldn't be able to like do it watch for 30 it. minutes. It's yeah. way better it's, than it's doing it. It's way easier, I know what you want. So, than doing. so then you switch up, take a little rest, and go at it. So you go with hard bouts of, of exercise, yeah. followed by recovery. So it's almost like an athlete, like a, a football game or a hockey game. Yeah. You go, recover, go, That's recover. That's exactly. Right? You're looking at a hockey shift. I mean, you could, you could definitely change if, if it's a football shift or even if you're playing soccer along those lines. And this is what you guys are going to be doing next week at uh, Lamport Stadium. Mm -hmm. That's right. And you got five clubs that are involved in this? Yeah, five local uh, owner-operated clubs, um, All Day Fit, Fit Squad, Resilience Fitness, Strive Life Athletics. Uh, it's a small industry, so we all know each other, and, yeah. and we find that together collaborating, we can do a much better job uh, raising some funds. So uh, same style. We're all a little, all, little different, but same values. Uh, and, and for us, we find that this is the most efficient way to get people to work out these days. And you're getting them out for Princess Margaret, right? Yeah, Princess Margaret Cancer, Cancer Foundation. So our target is uh, just over ten thousand dollars to raise. Uh, there's 250 tickets available. I believe we're at 200 now, so we're we're getting close. We've got another week to uh, to finish getting those tickets sold. All right. So if you want to help, if you want to join, where can they go to join? They can join at FuelTrainingClub.ca. Yeah. Uh, and from there, we're going through hit the six in our events section. Right. What's the key workout they were talking? That was the burpee you guys were just doing, right? The yeah. the dreaded burpee. The dreaded burpee. Is there anybody in the world that likes the burpee? Uh, you know what? There are some sick people out there that really do enjoy doing it. <laughs> what makes it so good? It's just you're using every muscle in your body, and you have to go down and up. So you're traveling a lot uh, as far as vertical space goes. You don't need a lot of space to do it, so you yeah. don't need to hog a machine or something. Uh, and because you're just constantly moving, you never really give your body time to to, uh, to recover. And you can hear the breathing rate is going up here. Just by, <laughs> this is the warm-up, too, by the way. So, uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. And uh, what are some other good exercises that maybe people can do? Not necessarily don't need to be at the gym, you got the house, you're working out. Right, right. So you can see we've got a pretty small patch of grass here that we're yeah. working with, and all of these things can be done over the top. So if you're on the hurdle, you're going over and back and forth. Uh, I we can also do this have, one, I think. Yeah, this is an easy one. Well, this is the warm up, too. So oh. we'll get into, yeah, if we put those aside, we've got what we call slam balls as well, which are great. They're a little more ballistic, they're not going to damage your floor. Uh, so Kettlebells are, are a great tool too. So with the slam balls, we're gonna go into what's called a chest slam. So if you guys grab those there, picking those up. And the goal here, it's just like a squat or a deadlift, keep your back nice and straight, throw mm -hmm. them down. Purposely get the ones that don't bounce, so you yeah. have to get a little more work to uh, get down there. To get knees, down there. Always the knees, right? Yeah, yeah, you can see knees coming over top of the toes. That's an important part. A lot of people are concerned with what happens to your knees. As long as your knees are going over top of the toes, as long as your back is, is staying straight, it's a very safe exercise. Okay. Can we go back with the burpee? Is mm -hmm. there a mm -hmm. correct way, and are there what's the incorrect way? Absolutely. Okay, so Corinne, if she shows from the shot side, is going to show a correct way. So back is staying straight. Okay, the big thing is that some people turn this into a yoga pose, right? Yeah. And because it's so ballistic, okay, you need to keep some rigidity through the midline. So I'll get Corinne to demonstrate a bad one here. It's, uh, yeah, see that? I mean, it might look like a good pose, yeah. but what happens when you're moving really fast, you're going to put a lot of extension on the spine. So we want to keep the back straight. We'll get, yeah, I know she wasn't comfortable doing it like that. So <laughs> keeping the back straight, uh, pushing up, jumping up, bringing your hands or your feet as close to the hands as possible. All right. And you had me planning. I'm doing something, am I not? So, yeah, I, I believe uh, the general population should be able to do about six burpees in 20 seconds. So I think <laughs> what I'm going to do here. Wait, give me another, give another demo so of the you burpee. One more demo. Yeah, yeah, let's see this burpee. Okay, I've never so done a burpee in my life. There what you go. Okay, I'm clock has started, by the way, so no more excuses. Now there what? you go. And then hop back up. <laughs> yeah, there you go. One. Yeah, that's one. Okay, we're five seconds in. We've got a decent Dude. pace happening here. So for you guys that are three this yet? out, you can also Am I having a heart attack yet? Four. <laughs> Yeah, you're supposed to encourage this. Yeah, we are. You know what? The encouragement, though, sometimes I wait for the complaining. <laughs> it's pretty good at, right at this pace. We'll let everyone else judge. Am I at five yet? Yeah. Five. Yeah, we're at 20. We'll do one more bonus. Oh, bring it up uh, slow. You're, good. you're a good sport. That was good. All right. Da -da -da -da. Yeah, nice work. <sighs> okay. For more info on Greg, you can find him on Instagram at Fuel Training Club or FuelTrainingClub.ca. And it's next Saturday at Nineport Stadium, right? We have lots more coming up. After the break, from some high-intensity exercise. I'm not getting up yet. Oh, yeah. oh.